En este momento declaro abierta la doceava reunión del 44 periodo de sesiones del Consejo de Derechos Humanos. In addition, I would like to join the universal consensus on gender equality being the number one predictor of peace online and present an unacceptable obstacle for women to fully exercise their right to freedom of expression or opinion. Coherent and systematic responses are needed to ensure that women are not silenced and discouraged from participating in public affairs. The focus of the Special Rapporteur's report on gender-based violence faced by journalists is timely. Far too often, journalists are targeted because of their gender. This Preventing online violence and addressing the gender inequalities that drive violence against women journalists requires a concerted effort by government, the private sector and communities. Así es que le doy la palabra a Irán, por favor. Thank you, Madam Vice President. My delegation thanks the Special Rapporteur uh, on Violence Against Women uh, for her reports to the Council on uh, Combating Violence Against Women Journalists. Madam Vice President, women journalists play a key role in public awareness raising and information dissemination. Uh, women journalists in Iran represent 50% of the total journalists and media staff of, and 40 of editorial boards. There are 25 journalists specialists in covering the uh, women affairs in the country. The number of women authors and writers has risen to more than 28,000, which means up to 22% more in recent years. This, uh, the strong presence of the women in media has resulted in significant promotion of women's standpoints and narratives. In conclusion, Madam Vice President, the Islamic Republic of Iran strongly condemns violence against as well as arrest and detention of media staff, especially women journalists, uh, including Linda Tiranda, a photojournalist reportedly blind in one eye, uh, by a rubber bullet fired by U.S. police, covering protests against, uh, protests against police brutality and racial discrimination in the United States and urge the U.S. authorities to respect freedom of expression and respect for the rights of women journalists. Thank you. Now begin, excellencies, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I call to order the 11th meeting of the 44th session of the Human Rights Council. We will now continue with our interactive dialogue with the working group on the discrimination against women and girls. Madam President, my name is Shafarak Shajarizadeh and I am an Iranian women's rights activist. I commend the working group for its report. I thank you for your appeals calling for the release of women's rights lawyer Nasrin Sutudeh, who was my lawyer, and also for the release of women jailed in Iran for protesting the compulsory hijab. Page 5 of your report addresses laws that discriminate against women. Iranian women are victims of such laws. For 40 years, the Islamic Republic of Iran has used the hijab as a tool to repress women. The government and its followers routinely abuse, violent, and subjugate women, preventing women from having any important role in society. Because I advocated against this discrimination, I was arbitrarily detained three times, interrogated, beaten, and thrown into solitary confinement. It was the most frightening experience of my life. Unfortunately, the Islamic Republic of Iran continues to arrest more and more women's rights activists and suppresses the activists even in prison like Athena Daemi by charging them with additional accusations. We need support from the world. That's why I must ask the United Nations. One day after Nasrin Sutude was condemned to 38 years in prison, why did the UN Commission on the Status of Women elect the Islamic Republic of Iran as a judge of women's rights complaints? Thank you. Je vous remercie. Je... Pella, I thank you. Finally, let us be reminded that a world of work that realizes women's human rights will not only benefit women, but will benefit everyone. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, for this constructive interactive dialogue with the working group. Merci, Madame. I thank you, Madam, and this brings us to the end of our interactive dialogue.